jolly swag man camped by the billabong. Good and mice, today we're going to try and challenge and break down some stereotypes that are often associated with Australia. But first off, although some conspiracy theorists will say otherwise, Australia does not exist. Let's just be clear that Australia does indeed exist. So Australia boasts a remarkable array of wildlife including koalas, wombats, and platypus, spiders, snakes, amazing birds, the smiling quokkas, and a lot more. But nothing is more typical Australian than the kangaroo. And everybody here in Australia rides them like horses and fit into their pouches, right? Well, we've been fortunate to interact with kangaroos at Corumbin Wildlife Sanctuary and out in the wild to see this magnificent Australian creature up close and learn more about it. But honey, is it true that everybody rides a kangaroo to like work and school? No. You think you can ride a kangaroo to school in Australia? <laughs> Definitely not. They can only be found in this type of wild park, wildlife park or in the barn. Nobody rides them like horses, and we certainly can't fit into their pouches, as it's also unlikely for a kangaroo to fight crime and save lives as depicted in the television series Skippy. Now on to stereotype number two. Ah, surfing. Surrounded by the Indian Pacific and the Southern Ocean, as well as the Timor and Tasman and Coral Seas, Australia has more than 10,000 beaches. And the majority of Australian citizens are sandy-haired surfers riding the waves whenever they get a chance to, right? Well, like many Australians, we're blessed to have the beach just outside our door, and so today we'll explore this stereotype deeper. How are you feeling? Why are you nervous? I'm not good at swimming. Where we want to go, and that is straight ahead. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, what's it? While we have fun with some basic surf lessons or much longer balls than professional use, the stereotype and myth of every Australian serving is simply wrong, which we guess you might have understood already. Not everyone in Australia surfs. In fact, while the majority of the population live within an hour's drive of the beach, only about 10% of Australians surf recreationally. But that is still a big lumber though. Now, let's jump to the first stereotype. Ah, oh, Vegemite. An essential Australian food icon made of leftover brewer's yeast extract with various vegetable and spice additives. And everybody eats it here, right? Oh well, to go deeper, let's make Polly some delicious Aussie Vegemite breakfast. We're making Polly a Vegemite toast for breakfast. You can hear her scream now. But we're doing everything Australia. So in order to eat Vegemite the perfect and proper way, you toast bread and you spread Vegemite on thinly. That's how you make the perfect Australian breakfast. Good morning, honey. Your favorite breakfast. Oh. All Australian day. I wish it was in Nutella. Did you add butter? No. Oh, shit. See, I, I don't even know how to do it properly. How you do properly is heavy butter and then thin layer. 
what you do is thinner. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. British people, you might be used to Marmite, which is quite similar. I'd rather eat like super hot chili or something like that. Yeah, so bad. I feel like it's. It's so salty and. I feel like it tastes like how motor oil mm. would taste like. While we dislike Fragermite, it divides opinions. Even among Australians, some love its rich umami flavor, various others, like us, hate it. But no, not all Australians love and eat it, of course. Now on to the fourth stereotype. Okay, so our next Australian stereotype is boomerang. Boomerang! Boomerangs are an internationally recognized symbol of Australia. And for Aboriginal people, they are as bold as creation and a symbol of the enduring strength of the Aboriginal culture. And it is one of my bucket list goals to be able to throw one and catch yes! it. Yes! So let's see how it goes. So Polly may have originally thought that boomerang is just a photo mode on Instagram, but no. I haven't learned yet. I will try. Hopefully I don't hit a kangaroo. According to what I've learned, I've never thrown one before myself, but we're gonna hold it like this, and we're simply gonna do it like this, and then snap. Almost like when we did the axe throwing. Just you like do it, snap. just do it. Okay. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, seems John is pretty ignorant too. Failed it! All right, like how you hold it, like a 90 degree, but with your fingers right here, when you throw, 90 degree and then down. Two, three. A lot more power. In your face, Grandma! That was super straight. I can't see who comes up the sun. Coming back! <laughs> I didn't catch it! But it come back! Yeah! One more time! Oh! I can't see because of the sun! Whoa. I need to go further away. I don't want to hit them. Well, that may be a good thing. It flew in between those two kangaroos. Look at Polly's shocked face. Oh my God, insane. This is, my heart rate beats a lot. Yeah, we were to hit him. He then curved like this and then in between those two and then out to the right. Oi. When all hope was running out and we had put down our cameras, I finally was able to grab it with my hand, but it was so hot and painful that I dropped it immediately. And that was the end of it. I'll have to try again in the future with gloves so that I can catch it properly. Alright, so we finished the boomerang. Nailed we it. Nailed it. Almost killed animals. Almost cut your fingers and hit people. Yeah. <laughs> nailed it. Yay. <laughs> Boomerangs in Australia are used in ceremonies, storytelling and arts and showcases the rich heritage of Australia's indigenous peoples. But although traditionally thought of as Australian, boomerangs have also been found in ancient Europe, Egypt and North America. So while it boasts a rich history in Australia, it is not a completely unique Australian item and will need some more practice to master it. My 100th time of the boomerang! Nice. So these are some of the Australian stereotypes explored and which we'll continue to explore as we get ourselves more integrated into this beautiful country and community. 
In the future, we'll pursue more of these such as rugby, cricket, crocodiles, the outback and crocodile dundee, deadly animals such as snakes and spiders, the Sydney Opera House, Australian accent and slang, meat pies, uluru, aboriginals and hundreds of suggestions we've gotten on Reddit. And if you have any specific idea what you want to see us explore in Australia, let us know. Also, a while ago, John was invited to attend an AFL match, and during that time, he was recommended by Councillor Caldwell that's to truly explore and understand Australia. John should measure the length of Norway from north to south, and by that same distance, he should go to the outback of Australia, which is about the distance from Gold Coast to Burstfield in the center of Australia. So, now we also have that as a crazy future goal in our exploration of this vast country. That's all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider checking out some of our other Australia videos. Stay awesome and keep exploring. Bye.